to say I was really impressed with the uh, Serbian referee today, Mr. Madic, in the Germany versus Portugal game. Uh, he didn't flinch when the chips were down. He pulled out the red card and deservedly so. He gave a penalty, which was also deserved. Um, he was, I thought, very calm and cool under pressure. Uh, certainly what we should be looking for in this uh, World Cup. Um, really, really professional job. Uh, made the decisions that needed to be made, didn't care who was playing and which teams were involved, didn't care about the protests and the, the reactions of the players. Excellent job, Mr. Madic. Keep it up. The second game today was between uh, Iran and Nigeria. Uh, it, was, it wasn't a great game, very rough and tumble, but I thought the referee, Carlos Vera from Ecuador, did a very good job in an easy game. He didn't have a lot to do, but what he did, he did well. He was on top of things. He was up with play. His uh, decisions were good. They were precise and concise, and uh, there was no doubts when he gave a decision as to which way the decision was going to go because he pointed immediately. He had one yellow card in the whole game. Uh, wasn't a lot to do, like I said, an easy game, but what he did, he did well. The final game today was between the USA and Ghana. This game was refereed by Jonas Eriksson from Sweden. Mr Eriksson actually doesn't need the money that comes with refereeing because he's a dollar billionaire and he's made all his money from uh, business. Uh, he handled the game very, very well. He could have had uh, two bookings, I think, in the first half, decided to talk to the players instead. He finally did book in, the, in injury time at the end of the game, Botari of Ghana, um, who was one of the players whom he should have booked earlier on. Um, I write a blog also for uh, kickshot.org. Uh, if you'd like to go onto their website and check it out, kickshot.org, and you can get my written blog as well as my updates on video.